Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for tuning in Arts Across America live concert series. I am Chao Tian. Today, I will lead the music as a solo for the first 15 minutes. Then my collaborator Tom Tisley will join me as a duo for the rest of the show. The first music I played is called Song of Happiness. It is very traditional silk and bamboo music from southern China. The next music I will improvise based on a very famous Quenchu opera, The Peony Pavilion. The story is talking about a girl wending to a beautiful garden in her in her life, I mean, the first time seeing the beautiful garden. So the girl felt wowed about the beautiful thing. I will name this improvisation with the name Dream in the Garden.
thank you very much. So uh, what I played is a Chinese dulcimer. In China, we call this instrument Yang Qin, Y-A-N-G-Q-I-N. So Chinese dulcimer is closely connected with the world since it is originally from Middle Eastern and it has many similar features uh, with the other dulcimers, just like uh, the Appalachian hammer dulcimer in the States. The next music I'm going to play is also a very traditional uh, tune from southern China. The name is called Summer Lotus.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So now let's welcome Tom Tisley. Come and join me as a duo. So uh, two, three years ago, Tom and I uh, formed uh, this project called Dongxi, which means East-West. We improvise music spontaneously and we create musical dialogue between people with different cultural background. And uh, you know, even though it is not easy thing, but we both think uh, this is the, the one of the most uh, efficacious way to to break the boundaries through music, right? So this is Dongxi.
Greetings. Uh, thank you all so much for joining us. Uh, what a fabulous opportunity for Chow and I to share our music. And as uh, Chow alluded to, I mean, the world is becoming so intensely binary and our country is becoming uh, intensely binary as well that uh, what we do with, with our collaboration is we focus on the listening. We don't come to the table with any kind of set repertoire. Uh, we do practice uh, musical dialogues and we practice musical elements that we, that we draw upon from our uh, common language. But, uh, but the, the net result of what you all hear is us listening and reacting and how a uh, much better world and country we would have if uh, people would listen and react based on what they hear as opposed to what they want to hear. So uh, we're going to just continue to play, and uh, in a little while I'll talk about some of my instruments after you've had a chance to see even more of them. But thank you so much for allowing us to come into your home or your office or wherever it might be.
Wow, uh, it uh, it feels so good uh, d during all of this COVID craziness. Uh, Chow and I have uh, we haven't been playing as much together, obviously, and uh, this opportunity is is like having a uh, a conversation with us and you all being able to join in. And uh, I I, ho I really really hope you're enjoying it. I just want to talk a little bit about some of my instruments now that you've had a chance to see a good portion of them. Uh, what you're seeing here is, is very much set up like an American drum set. Uh, I have uh, a timbale that I've converted for my bass drum voice where a traditional jazz drummer might put a snare drum. I have a djembe and where tom-toms might go, I have two bongos. And where a floor tom might go, I have a pandiero and then I probably can't see this. But I'm sitting on a, on a cajon. And I have a lot of uh, Middle Eastern instruments. I, I've traveled extensively to the Middle East, uh, collaborating with master musicians there. So a lot of my 
work that I do that I then carry over to uh, what Chow and I share together is my taking a variety of world cultures, uh, hopefully respectfully, and interpreting them through the ears and the eyes of an American jazz musician. And uh, how lucky am I to be able to share all that with uh, uh, a musician of, of Chow's great uh, ability and, and, and such a lovely person as well. I'm gonna, we're gonna explore an instrument we, uh, often I don't have an opportunity to involve myself melodically, but, uh, but I'm gonna play a uh, hand pan, and uh, it, it even passes Chow's muster for intonation, so, uh, so I'm quite pleased with that. But this, this is quite a magical uh, instrument, and I hope you enjoy it. So uh, we'd like to offer, if you have, if you have some questions, what I think we'd rather maybe put our benefit, uh, benefit you all the most if we, just, if we just play more. But if you have some questions about the instruments or about our process or any, any other aspects about our, our work, 
uh, we would be very happy for you to go ahead and put them into a comment if you want to if you're on Facebook or YouTube or however that's relayed to us. And we promise that we'll get back to every single person. Uh, it's just been such a fabulous opportunity for us to share our work. And as I mentioned before, uh, I, I think this kind of work that we're doing right now is more important than ever. What you what is manifested is the playing that we do, but but the prereq prerequisite to that is the the intense listening. So if we can all come away from this experience with just a commitment to listen deeper and listen deeper to uh, something that is from a different culture or something from a different religion or something from a different point of view, I think that we're all going to be better for it. We're gonna uh, we're gonna play one more piece, and w one of the things you've probably noticed that we like to do is is dig a lot into rhythmically into the jazz tradition. So while Chow and I will draw from our various traditions, I might be I might be playing a, a drum pattern that is reminiscent of Elvin Jones with John Coltrane or Miles Davis or something like that, and she will be drawing from a Chinese classical or folk repertoire, but we don't really talk about how that's going to go together. We, we just trust uh, the process that that will indeed happen. But we're going to close out this piece now uh, with something that involves a, uh, a lot of jazz and a lot of listening and a lot of uh, intuitive travels in space. So I hope you enjoy this. So we, we did a piece kind of like this on our CD that was called Full of Questions.
you. Thank you very Thank you much. much. We've enjoyed playing for and we hope to see you again. Please uh, visit our website, don'tsheemusic.com. Thank you.